So Tuesday, just finished um, doing some Reiki. Just about to go in now. Been a long day, um, and uh, I was just coming to the end of that session that I had um, my last client. Um, very different sessions I had. Uh, my first lady tonight was um, really um, emotional and also laughing. So sometimes that happens when the emotion is coming up. The um, energy comes up in whatever way, shape or form it wants to come up in. Some people yawn, some people cry and laugh um, within minutes or seconds. And um, that's exactly what that girl was doing. So she was releasing her energy and she just kept laughing, laughing, laughing. And then she would take his breath and then she would cry a little bit and then she would laugh, laugh, laugh. Beautiful to watch because it's so nice to see the energy shifting and um, just... Um, a lovely experience of release and especially being the full moon is coming in tonight as I said last night and um, lots of releasing being done then I had another girl who came in straight after and she the guide said um, as I was working on her that she needs more joy and um, they said 30 days of joy 30 days of joy and as I was walking around the bed, I was asking them questions. What's happened? So sometimes this happens for me where I'm working on somebody, even though the energy is flowing through me, the guides are giving me information. So I'm asking the guides, what do you mean by 30 days of joy? And they said, you must tell her to um, be joyous. Choose one thing every day that is uh, something that brings you joy, whether it is making yourself a, your favorite cup of coffee, making yourself um, a nice curry, uh, going out for a walk, planting a flower, uh, washing your car, getting into bed and to, into a bed that's set and uh, new sheets, new duvet. I love that. That's one of my favorites. Um, and pick some things in your life that brings you joy. And it reminded me of a friend of mine yesterday who was doing her first live on Instagram, Dervla Mescal. Hi, lovey. Uh, she was making her soup and she was saying it, that it brought her joy. And it was like as if they were piecing it all together. The guys were piecing it all together. And they said, there's so much going to come up again now with this um, COVID experience that we're having. And all the kids are back to school today. That brought in a lot of anxiety. I started to see that with my own friends and family. I saw that with my clients. I saw the effects of what COVID did um, with the first lockdown and how people um, had come to me after three or four months of being in lockdown, how they were so full of fear and so full of anxiety and stress and all of those things because it was like a snowball that sort of got bigger and bigger and bigger. And it was three months of collecting, holding energy in this big ball of energy, right? So the guide said for me to maybe use this as a way. And I said, is it a challenge? And I said, no, because it's not a challenge. It's something that we can do every day. Is a cup of tea, making a cup of tea for yourself a challenge? Um, no. Is going out for a walk a challenge? Yeah, maybe for some, you know, change it around to suit you. What is it that brings you joy? And by doing that, they said 30 days of joy. So let's start today. Today being the 1st of September, a new uh, full moon being brought in uh, beautiful energies, releasing all the old negative shit that we have to deal with for the last while, all the fears, all the anxieties, all the feeling of powerlessness, all the feeling of being controlled, all of that lark that came with COVID and the pandemic and all of that. Uh, let's release all of that now. And today, starting from today being the 1st of September, let's do a 30 day uh 30 days of joy, they said. Not 30 day challenge, 30 days of joy. So I'm going to do my first day is being today and my first day um, and the, what brings me joy is Reiki and seeing somebody walk out the door tonight that was absolutely elated, having the energy being removed from them. Um, it's something that brings me joy every single day. Every minute that I do this, it brings me joy. And um, when I watched my friend yesterday cooking and she said it brought her joy, you could see it coming out of her face when she was cooking. Such a simple thing to do, but if it brings you joy, Joy brings out a different frequency and it vibrates out of your body. And what the guide said um, is what you do is when you're doing something that brings you joy. So using uh, it, say making a cup of tea, when you're making that cup of tea, I want you in your mind or you can say it out loud. I am joy. I am. You are going to affirm it back to yourself. I am love. I am. I am peace. I am. I am fearless, I am. I am joy, I am. So you're going to say sandwich a few positives in between the two joys. I am joy, I am. 
and then he was going to say whatever the other positives are i am joy i am love i am peace i am calm i am i am fearless i am i am joy i am you're going to sandwich it at the end by saying i am joy i am is an affirmation and by saying that when you're doing something joyous you're going to release um uh, and lovely energy that's going to vibrate out of you because you're doing something that's bringing you joy and by doing something that brings you joy you will release uh, lovely energy that's going to vibrate off your um, auric field and people around you are going to feel that and instead of what's going to happen if we don't stop it and stop that snowball from spiraling and moving it's going to we, I want you to not allow the snowball to start I want you to the moment that you feel the fear coming in when you hear something and as I've said before in lockdown turn off the TVs turn off social media if it's bringing you fear and it's bringing anxiety and it's bringing uh, the negatives in I want you to do something right there and then that brings you joy so whether it's eating the cream cake or a coffee slice one of my favorites and um, drinking a, the, your best your nicest cup of coffee this coffee that you love as I said washing your car setting your bed reading a book going out and planting a plant being with your dog if it brings you joy I want you to do that when the anxieties and the fears are creeping in. I want you to do one thing a day for the next 30 days. Um, I'm going to try to post stuff on my um, channel over the next uh, 30 days and I'll try and keep up. So it's not a challenge. They keep saying it's not a challenge because we do things every single day that is joyous, but we just don't see it because we allow the negatives in. So can you do that with me? I'm going to hashtag it 30 days of joy. Not a challenge. 30 days of joy. And I'm going to start from today. One of my um, joys, my my one of my biggest joys in life is Reiki and um, energy healing, as you know, because I just love it. Um, and I mean, I love the information that I get sometimes. It's the maddest times when I get it. The girl was in the midst of having an emotional release and the guides are like talking to me, trying to get her, bring, tell her to bring more joy, tell her to bring more joy. So if you can do that with me, 30 days of joy starting from today. Hashtag 30 days of joy and my first day is Reiki. That's what brings me joy. I am joy. I am. I am love. I am. I am peace. I am. I am fearless. I am. I am joy. I am. Say those when you're making your cup of tea. Say those when you're eating your coffee slice. Say those when you're washing your car. Going for your walk. Going for your swim. Being with your children. Being with your cat, being with your dog, whatever it is, being with your gin and tonic. I am joy. I am. Let's see how we get on. Love you loads.